Namaste, Earth Signs. Hi, it's Case. Welcome or welcome back to your December 2019 read. I'm going to get the energy for this reading. I have um, previously shuffled all the cards, but I'm just going to give it a quick turnaround to get Earth Sign energies for December. 2019 we have happy happy and on the base of the deck we've got fork in a road there's a change coming in for you earth signs this is um, Virgo Capricorn and Taurus There's, it's like you're confused you're no more you're no longer confused you've raised your vibration because you was at a fork in the road you had to make a decision whether to continue as you were or go towards the light a new path This card reminds me of the fall in the major arcana. It's like you took this leap of faith. You wasn't prepared. For this particular journey. But it's like you was divinely guided. Sorry. I've got a magnifying glass here. So that I can actually close in and see. Absolutely. Oops. A bit more what's going on in this picture. It's like you found your key to happiness. There's, you've had some kind of transformation, Earth signs. Because she think it's just her in this picture. It, it seems like you've you found this joy alone. Let me turn off one of these lights so you can see what I'm saying. Because if you see it's dark down here. You're going into light, like the balloons. You're raising your vibration. We've got orange. Orange is about your sacral chakra. It's about um, being friendly and passionate. You know, you, your flirty nature has come back. You've come back to yourself. It's like you've been birthed from this egg. It's a bit like Dorothy's. You had the you had the key to get home all along. It was inside. You had your ruby slippers on. And even though you're at this fork in the road, it's as though the arrows are pointing you to the path. Go towards the light. An archway, a new beginning. Kid you not, a change is in the wind. What was down is now up, and what is up is now down. Energy for Earth Signs, December 2019. We have the Ten of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune, two tens. That mean two tens means completion, beginning of a new cycle. The Ten of Pentacles is about generational wealth. This is about your your coinage. Your pentacles is definitely up during December. Because you have the Wheel of Fortune here. Luck, fate, and destiny is on your side. You've completed a cycle. And it seems like you did it alone, whatever you went through. As I said, at the top of the reading, you found your happy, happy. I was about to shuffle, should I shuffle? Carry on, okay. The 
actions that you that you took page of wands sorry the ace of wands the ace of wands is about a passionate new beginning it's it's as though you go you're going towards your creative side you've created something new from scratch yes. see the lizard in the back lizards can regenerate their tails if they lose them you've been through some very difficult times some fiery hot times but you've had enlightenment see I'm shuffling you've had enlightenment the results of your actions that the actions that you took you've got the page of cups okay sorry um the wheel of fortune is Jupiter energy and fire energy that is Aries Leo Sagittarius the ten of cups ten of pentacles is um Virgo and Mercury energy so it's about communication so this passionate new beginning that you have created for yourself to earth sign has to do with communication being out there this is like speaking into a mic it's some it's like you're doing something in the public and the results of your actions we've got the page of pentacles it says that you're in the beginning stages it's either somebody's offering to you but this is about um you being some kind of a healer because the page of pentacles is um about psychic abilities so you're doing something healing in the public eye, which is going to be of great fortune to you. Mucho pentikele. Okay. In your distant past, we have the chariot. This is cancer energy. The chariot is about having a spiritual awakening. As I said, this passionate new beginning, this spiritual awakening, and your single-mindedness about this, you've it's a, you've put a lot of thought into what you're doing right now. You know, you've been working on this this thing in the public, in the spotlight. It's as though you put your everything into it. deep thinking it could have been you see with the page page of pentacles this is about um learning new things new projects new abundant projects duality balance you found balance in this new project that you're creating that you rushed into see i'm shuffling again what fell out Capricorn one of the earth's um, major arcana cards this is about codependency this is about bondage and being trapped it could be a toxic situation it could also mean, speak of being mentally trapped with fear, fear of this good luck being bound by fear of lack of not being good enough but you know you are earth signs always sure-footed always balanced okay where's the deck <laughs> almost lost the deck then <laughs> anyway come on okay your present attitude right now about what's going on earth signs let's see 
we've got the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is someone who makes a lot of plans, strategizes, but she takes action and gets what she or he wants. Don't worry about the gender of the card. I'm just saying she because I'm a she, so I'm speaking in the female way, okay? Anyway, um, yeah, you've made some you've made some firm plans. You're looking good at this moment, confident. You're confident. I'm going to clarify this devil card in a minute, but with the um, te two tens and the queen of wands. The plans that you've made is bringing, gonna bring good fortune to you and good luck. It's like the queen is here and this is what, her, it's her trail, her trail of good luck and blessings. This is like generational wealth. It's, if it's not an inheritance, you're building something here, earth signs. That looks good. The Queen of Wands is about getting attention. It's getting attention. Okay. We have the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is um, Libra and Moon energy. The Moon is about communicating your emotions, your feelings. And the Two of Swords coming out next to the Devil card, it says that you're making a choice a firm decision you've sat back and you've looked at the whole situation and you're becoming clear can you see the light shining off her blade you're going to make a head over heart decision to cut out negativity Outside influences. Outside influences. We have another page. We have the page of cups. So there's a lot of young, there's a lot of young energy around you. This is not your child or children because we have two here. If it's not someone coming to want to offer an apology, somebody wants to offer to you. But because the page is facing the devil card, it's a negative situation. It's a toxic situation. Something that you had to make a head over heart decision to cut out. And build back up your confidence. A possible final outcome. Most likely final outcome. That's too many cards. That's too many cards. Possible final outcome. <laughs> Most likely final outcome. We have the wounded warrior, the knight of wands. Sorry, the nine of wands. The nine speaks about fruition, things coming to an end, completion. This is the wounded warrior, but you want a passionate new beginning. And he's coming out on top of the page of page of cups. So this apology is beneath you now. You're finding your own your own sunshine. You're looking over, you're looking across at this passionate new beginning that you're building for yourselves, um, Earth signs. You're cutting out the BS. Night was rushing in because you have the tree of life. Tree of life, full understanding of the situation. As above, so below. You understand everything that's gone on here. Earth signs. Okay. Let's clarify with the miniature right away, Jake.
I said all the bits were previously shuffled. Because the ace of ones with the page of cups and the queen of pentacles. This is a passionate new beginning, instability. Because you've made your plans and you strategized. And you're sure. You're confident. You're confident with what you cut out. Why is the page of wands here? You have options. You could also speak of a lack of focus, somebody that's um, drinking or possibly taking drugs. But the impression that I got when this card came out, you have options. But you must choose wisely. Earth signs. You don't want to choose a snake in a cup now. You want the winner's reef. See, as I said, you've moved on from a situation. This is about... Look. You've gone from the seven of eight, of the lack of focus, not knowing whether you had options. But you made a firm decision to turn your back and move on from a situation. There was a lot of emotion involved, a lot of confusion. See? He's holding on to his one rod of passion. He's got his red cloak of wisdom. And there is the waxing moon, beginning of new. You want a new beginning, a new passionate new beginning. Yeah, where's that top? Okay. You want a passionate new beginning. Look, I kid you not. You're moving on to calm waters. You found a new direction for your life. We have the death card on the base. Death speaks about transformation. This is the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. In some cases, it can actually mean death, but in this particular instance, with all of the cards that have come out, this is about a new beginning. You've transformed. And you're moving into this new beginning passionately and optimistically, Earth signs. I don't know why I went to the Ace of Wands because that was not the first set of cards, but I was led to it. Because this passionate new beginning you want, you're, you was tired of the lack of focus. Always turbulent, turbulent in the situation that you was in, that you had no choice but to turn your back. And look to something new. See, the wounded warrior is now looking at the transformation card and still holding on to this passionate new beginning. Why is there ten, two tens together? The wheel of fortune and the ten of pentacles. Why is the two tens there? We have judgment in reverse. The judgment card in reverse speaks about past disappointments and indecision and having a lack of faith. The judgment card is um, Pluto and Earth, Pluto and water energy. Pluto. Pluto is ruled by um, Scorpio energy and Scorpio is about desiring you know what you truly wish for 
The death card is also Scorpio energy. So you have Scorpio in the upright. It's making me have a feeling that you're worried about this new beginning, this destiny, this fate that's now coming for you. You're worried about you're fearful. Because the judgment in reverse speaks of stagnancy, being feeling stuck, unable to accept the situation for what it is or let go of a certain situation, even though you're divinely guided. I believe that you are divinely guided to this, this new abundant future earth, earth signs. But it's here for you to take. You have to be the one that steps into this greatness. Why is the judgment in reverse? See, King of Pe King of Pentacles. So this is telling me it's either the King of Pentacles showing up for you, or you don't need to worry. You're gonna get stability, security. Abundance from this new beginning that you have, this new beginning that's in the public eye. On the base of the deck, we have the four of swords. So this speaks about you isolating yourself from a situation, possibly this situation that was toxic, that was holding you back, keeping you mentally bound. Why is the chariot? Oops. Why is the chariot card here? Why is the chariot card here? Okay. This talks about the plans that you've had, you've laid of signs about your ships coming in. You've set things into motion, as I said in the past. You rushed into this single mind. It was like you was being divinely guided to this point. And you're waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for this abundance that you've created for yourself. And again, you're still holding on to that one rod of passion. The creative new beginning, the passionate new beginning. It could also mean that this King of Pentacles is coming in to bring you a passionate new start. through some tings of signs oh you're guarded very at this moment in time you're, you're very um i wouldn't say skittish but you you know you've been through some things even though you have the strength to move forward to this new beginning that you're creating for yourself this new abundant beginning you're not sure whether you're gonna allow someone in again because somebody beat you up eight times. Why is the devil card here? Oh my God. See? Two different decks. This passionate new beginning. I had just had a sense that don't don't block or don't fear or don't feel too bound that you can't have this passionate new beginning. And it's next to the King of Pentacles. So I believe that you have a King of Pentacles coming in for you. Somebody who's stable loyal trustworthy 
a good husband, bringing in the passion on. One more in the Ace of Wands. One more in the Ace of Wands. Gonna be pear shaped then. Oh, nice ones. Okay, two aces. This is your passionate new beginning. You've cut through the BS. You're cutting out things that no longer serve you. And you're moving towards this passionate new beginning that you've created yourself, created for yourself. And as this you, this this King of Pentacles is going to be a truth teller. And passionate about you. Very pa deeply passionate about you. On the base of the deck, you won't have to worry. There'll be no burdens here. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Page of Pentacles here? It's trump. If the page of pentacles is trumped by the page of wands. This new, this offer that's coming into you, you don't, you're not accepting any offers. So who is this? Who are you not accepting the offer from? You know, you don't want no new beginning, new creation with this offer that's coming in. That's this one. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords. You don't want a new beginning with some... some this, they're offering to you as a page, so it's immature. And you don't want no new beginning. You're not looking for no, no passionate new beginning. You don't want to create nothing with them. You're handling them as the Queen of Swords. This is a woman or man who's been has the wisdom of their experiences. They got their head on straight. And they're not putting up with no BS. You're not accepting an offer that's that is coming back to you. You're cutting it out. This speaks of somebody who is single, divorced, separated. But why is You can see, you'll, she'll, you'll be able to smell the BS when they turn up. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? See? Because of your, how you're looking good, you know, you've planned, you've plotted, you've strategized, you've rebuilt yourself. <coughs> you've taken off the blindfold and you've made a head over heart decision. You have a, somebody coming. This King of Pentacles. If it's not two two different offers, because you also have the Knight of Swords here. Everybody's looking at you. Two knights and a king, and everybody wanting to offer to you. Earth signs. Three. Okay. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Firm, stable offer that's coming in for you. Something that's divinely guided. So you're going to have to choose right wisely. Who you're going to be going down that path with. The Ace of Pentacles speaks of, um, it could be an inheritance, as I said at the top of the reading. This is also my ring bearing card. Somebody coming to offer up a ring. They like your gangster. Why is the two of swords here? They like the way you flow, earth signs. Mm -hmm. We have another page. This is a lot of immature energy out here. 
this apology look look, look at look linda look look oops that's fair enough <clears throat> the page of cups in the upright the two of swords and the two of swords has just been trumped by the page of cups in reverse this offer that you've got coming in you're not going to accept an apology and you don't want you don't want nobody that's offering to you as a page because you've raised your vibration you know how to be happy alone so you're not you're not Oh, Desperado! No! You know, you can afford to think hard and long about who you're going to go down this path with this time around. You don't end up, end up inside an egg again with no key in the dark, alone. See? On the base of the deck, you only want the holy grail of love. You know what I mean? You want your you want your heart to be full. You don't want no upside down page coming to you to offer you all swanky. Let's give this a quick shuffle. Why is the page of cups here in the upright? For the earth signs. Don't want to talk. Why is the page of cups? And they it's like they're sticking together. Why is the page of cups? One card, please. Okay, you're seeing everything from a different perspective now. You're not sacrificing yourself to this situation anymore. As I said, you're not going to accept this. This infantile offer of love you've been down that that um that track the going nowhere lane with the narcissistic behavior controlling behavior feeling bound worthless you've got a passionate new beginning it looks like the king of pentacles it's destiny but you have to choose wisely Hangman is Neptune energy and water energy, which is um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's about enlightenment. I feel that you've been enlightened. You're seeing things from a different perspective now, Earth signs. You're knowing your worth. You found you. You found your happy, happy. Why is the night? Why is the Knight of Wands looking back at? Sorry, the Nine of Wands. What is he looking back at? around here earth signs i've got decks on decks what is the night of ones looking back at <laughs> look what just fell out the night of ones this is three different decks the nine of ones in reverse okay it's telling me that you are no longer open to any form of abuse you're moving forward you're looking back at what what was what you went through and you're transforming you transformed you've come out of your cocoon now one more in the night of ones in the reverse the night of ones is Sagittarius energy Nine of Wands. I keep saying Nine of Wands, but it's the Nine of Wands. Okay, three cards fell out. Again, we have the Chariot card. That's two different decks. We have the Devil card again. And we have the King of Swords. 
The chariot is Gemini energy. The devil card is Capricorn energy. And the king of swords, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay then. So <coughs> what it seems, what I see here, you're rushing towards this new beginning. You've had enlightenment. And you're, the king of swords is here to cut out this codependency, this negative, toxic situation that you're moving away from. You're moving away from that situation quickly with your head high. You know, this is a chariot of gold. So as I said at the top of the reading, you've got your ten of pentacles here, the wheel of fortune. Are the wheels on your chariot? The wheel of good fortune, destiny and fate. Sorry, let me put them right there. I'll be there when it's supposed to come. Let's see what's on the base of this. Can't make this up. Seven of Wands. You're in a good position. Position. You, wh whoever you got on block, continue to block them. Because they turned you into the Knight of Wands. Nine of Wands in three different decks. You was hurt over and over by this, this person that you've been moved away. You moved away from. And you're calling in the King of Pentacles. You have to get away from your negative thinking because you're you're blocking your blessings at the moment. Because we have the, the Ace of Swords. It's about the mind mentality. You gotta get your mind right and believe that you deserve this passionate new beginning. Anything else? I told you. Spiritual growth. You know, don't give in to wrong thinking because you will block your blessings. But this is what happy, happy looks like. As well as the full card. See, it's like the balloons have turned into balls. Balls rising up into the atmosphere of your potential, of all the joy and the blessings that you have coming towards your earth signs. Leave that there. At the base of the deck, we have the two of wands. You've made your choice. You've broken any negative bonds because you have the key. The key not only fits that lock, that lock, it also fits this lock where you freed yourself. You saved you. You did. And you did well. Okay, let me get some final advice just picking up the deck of course on the base self-worth this is about your self-worth about you taking your throne now and coming into your greatness and embracing this new beginning that this new abundant beginning that you've you've um created for yourself this this ace of wands is also the sexual card so that could also mean to me that some of you guys have been celibate which is further bringing in blessings for you okay any final advice messages yeah you followed your intuition or maybe this this new abundance that you've created for yourselves earth signs is to do with misses and maybe you're doing tarot reading maybe you're involved with the occult in some way Yeah, you do feel a bit insecure because it's new. It's new. No, nothing, nothing that, no business at the beginning or endeavor at the beginning is perfect. Okay. You've had that enlightenment. You've had that download, that spiritual download. See two chariot cards, enlightenment. You're above all of the BS that you went through. It's like you as a child and you became old in that BS, which had you confused until spirit came and wrapped their arms around you, breathed, breathed wisdom into your ears. And you're coming out of that confusion now because you've bossed up and gone into creation mode.
you've raised your high vibration. Wow. Earth signs. Give you a round of applause. Wow. Okay. That was your December earth sign reading. That's for Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Taurus with me, Case. Hi. And now it's going to be bye at Frequency Phoenix 555. Please like, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe and share. And if you require personal reading from me, I'm it's like I'm slipping away. These rules, they drive me to the corner, Captain. Anyway, if you'd like a personal reading from me, please email me at frequencyphoenix555 at gmail.com. Namaste.